Welcome back to Express. If you wanted to get started with ChatGPT+, I'm going to be showing you how we can get started. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what is exactly ChatGPT, what is the benefits of ChatGPT number four, and a few examples that can be helping us to just to have like an idea of what we can do here into ChatGPT number four. So let's begin. The very first thing I wanted to do is to sign into chat.openai. If you don't have an account, you can always go into chat.openai.com and here let's go for sign up. It's going to be asking you to create one by having an email and a phone number in order to confirm the verification process is going to be really easy. In this case, I'm going to have the sign in with Google account since we already have an actual account. Now, if you don't have the chat GPT plus yet, what you wanted to do is to go into the left part that says upgrade. So in here, you have the current plan, which is the free one and the right part that says uh, subscribe. Now, since this is a brand new and total new account, it just won't let me to import or to upgrade to the actual plus version because of the actual high demand. So we need just to wait a few days or even like a week to have access to the plus version of chat DVD. But now in this case, after you have just so I'm going to log out and logged into another account where I currently have the actual GPT uh, plus enabled. So as you can see in this free version, we only have the 3.5 and the GPT4 is only available for an upgrade. So I'm going to sign out and sign into in another account. So assuming that you have now purchased the chat GPT number four, well, congratulations, because into this side, we no longer have the three GPT, but directly into the GPT number four. So there are three things that we can use inside the GPT number four, which is the DALI number three, the new browsing and analysis tools that can be helping us to get started. As you can see, we now have enabled here these attachment tools that can be helping ChatGPT to analyze more information about, uh, let's say, your account. Now to have the full potential to chat dpt 4 what I want to do is to go directly into my account and look out for settings and the beta. You want to make sure that here into beta features you have enabled the plugins so I have a version that knows when and how to use the third party plugins and I want to enable the advanced data analysis. So this one knows how to write and execute Python code, it can work with file uploads and much more. I'm going to hit now into data controls. You want to make sure that you have the shared links here and the builder profile, what's your name and your website if you have one of them. So I'm going to hit now into the X mark. And let's say, for example, that I wanted to create my very first uh, image with DALI number three. Now, currently, DALI, it's only working with DALI number two. But if you have chat DVD number four, we now have access to DALI number three. And you're going to make something really easy, a quick comparison of how chat DVD is working so much better than DALI number two. And here inside the DALI number two, let's say a light wolf in 3D render. I hit now into generate. And what I want to do is to copy exactly the same prompt so I can tell ChatGPT to do exactly the same thing. Let's do an image of a light bulb in 3D render. So there we go. Now, as you can see, it says creating images. If I go back here, we can see that we have one, two, three, four different views of a light bulb in 3D render. So as you can see, this one is going to be creating more details, more glows, and so much more elements that we can use for our actual elements. Now, if I go back here, I mean, DALI number two has done really great work. But as you can see, the difference between DALI number two and DALI number three is amazing. It's looking really great. That's the reason why we use ChatGPT number four so much more than that. And let's say, for example, I'm going to hit add more light bulbs, but it's going to be a little bit different to edit stuff into DALI. So now we know what's the actual main difference between DALI number two and DALI number three. What else can we do into ChatGPT number four? Well, for instance, what we can do now is to make some analytics about, for example, an ad. So let's go, for example, here into a video. I'm going to hit into Facebook. So what I'm going to be doing here is to export a CSV file, a campaign table data 
of all the campaigns that I have done so far inside some meta apps. So I'm going to be doing this because what I want to do is to chat GPT to help me to figure out which one is like the best budget, the best bit strategy and the best impression cause per result, the best ad with all these parameters. So instead of focusing here into checking out which has the best results, the most, uh, the less cost per results, the best strategy, the budget, ChatGPT gave me the full conversion of which one is the best name campaign, the most CTR, the amount spent, results, and impressions. Let's say, for example, that I wanted to write an article from something that was generated uh, from yesterday, for example. So let's say, for example, that I want to create a um, blog on the latest news. So ChatGPT is going to be using the browsing on the latest news on today, which is something that you cannot do into ChatGPT 3.5. These and much more elements can be done and used inside DPD number four. What I can totally suggest to you, just in case you're going to be using ChatGPT for a specific purposes only, what you can do is to tell ChatGPT what are you actually looking for before you start an actual chat. And for that is to go directly into your account, go into custom instructions, and here what you wanted to do is to make the instructions directly. For example, what would you like ChatGPT to know more about your reliability responses? So where are you based? What do you do for work? What are your hobbies and interests? What subjects can you talk about for hours? What awesome goals you have, for example? And lastly, guys, you have the actual plugins. So if you focused, I'm going to go back, of course, into ChatGPT. I'm going to go here into explore. And in to explore, do you have the chat GPT versions? So for example, you have DALI that can be helping you to do a few stuff, data analysis, uh, the classic version, game time, explain some board games, uh, help you to get better outcomes to create a negotiator, uh, grinding coach, for example, for wanting to, to help you improve your skills, uh, visionary painter, use these plugins as your own favor to start creating what you're actually interested in. With that being said, guys, I think we have now reached to the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you wanted to see more great tools of ChatGPT. You now know all the tools, how to use ChatGPT number four. And of course, you even have the better mode of ChatGPT Plus. It is really worthy to try out ChatGPT if you're going to be using this to invest it into a website, into an online store, into creating designs, and much more. Thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.